Welcome back to Flint Creek Transport. This is just the evening before a Christmas party. Every year we have a Christmas party here, uh, kind of like just a Friday before Christmas. Uh, I just wanna show you guys the party. Uh, I tell you, we've been blessed. Just this sunset, for example, is one of the many blessings that we got. Just a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous evening. So anyway, uh, I'll go out and I'll show you guys what we uh, kind of set up for, kind of what we do. You can look at some of the previous videos too, uh, or previous Christmas party videos, but we have a good time. We have a lot of fun. And uh, just, you know what? We are blessed. We have a lot going for us. And you know, you, you stop and think other countries, some of the hardships that they're facing, some of those wars, famines, whatever it is, uh, here in America, we are very blessed. So, let's get started. Here it is. Got the grills set up for cooking tomorrow. And we got the roasters, where they're gonna set it on the food. This is the food line. We got all these gifts. Pretty much the way it works, there's uh, around 78 people, I think. It, it varies, just making sure everyone's coming, but everyone's gonna get a gift. Um, they get to come in and they get to pick. You know, their name gets called randomly, you know, so when their name gets called, they get to pick a gift and take one home. And then we have some other fun games that we play with them as well. So I'll see if I can get some footage of that. Um, I'm heading home for the night and we'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. It is a beautiful morning. Let's go check out the festivities. Let me uh, show you first off, 143, pretty much done, I think. And the guys wanted to put it up on the lift, kind of show it off here. And that's what's super cool with these lifts, being able to walk right under the trucks. I think this is actually up against right here, but you can walk right under it. Makes it so nice to work on stuff. I think they got like a little presentation up there, so that's why they uh, got the lights off on that side. Got some of the gifts in there. There's actually, there's four gifts in there that uh, are boxes here. I'll, I'll go over and show you guys. So these, uh, so those four boxes are identically wrapped there's a thousand dollars cash in each box or sorry there's a thousand dollars cash in one box and the rest of the boxes have candy bars so it just depends how much risk these guys are willing to take uh food line check it out oh hash browns sausages bacon they're filling up I think that's gonna be eggs. <laughs> oh, they're starting on the eggs. Good morning, guys. Got no, some sizzle. None for you. <laughs> A deep fryer for the hash browns. Got it morning, got our bacon fryers. Ooh, all kind of good stuff. We're getting there. And we even got some scrapple. Morning, brother. How are you? Good. Oh, guys, I cannot forget the sausage gravy. Uh, yeah. I'm not a picky eater, but sausage gravy, not my thing. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here today. And this is a special event. I look forward to it every year and getting together and making breakfast and, I, you know, enjoying some of this stuff but you know reflecting over the past year this is this is wonderful and i'm just going to share very very brief i know that you are hungry and you want to get on with the day but i just normally um normally carl takes this spot and he's not able to be here today uh, noreen had a surgery yesterday and i don't know if joel might share a little more on that but thankfully it went well and as we know a couple weeks is christmas and for me a special part of christmas is not the gifts it's not even the family that we get together with, 
but it's about the real reason for Christmas, and that's Jesus Christ. And I know we say this every year, but really it's, it's meaningful when we think about God sending His only begotten Son as our Savior down here to this earth, and He took on the same body, the same problems that you and I face with to give His life for a ransom. And I just want to share... Uh, I, I don't know who to credit this to. It's a, it's a poem I came across a number of years. And it goes like this. He was born in an obscure village, the child of a peasant woman. He grew up in another village where he worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30. Then for three years, he was an itinerant preacher. He never wrote a book. He never held an office. He never had a family or a home. He didn't go to college. He never visited a big city. He never traveled more than 200 miles from the place where he was born. He did none of the things that one usually associates with greatness. He had no credentials but himself. He was only 33 when the tide of public opinion turned against him. His friends ran away. One of them betrayed him. He was turned over to his enemies and went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed to a cross between two thieves. While he was dying, his executioners gambled for his garments, the only property he had on earth. When he was dead, he was laid in, the, in a borrowed grave through the pity of a friend. Twenty centuries have come and gone, and today he is the central figure of the human race. All the armies that ever marched, all the navies that ever sailed, all the parliaments that ever sat, all the kings that ever reigned, put together, have not affected the life of man on this earth as much as that one solitary life, and that's Jesus Christ. I like to just close with Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And then in verse 7 it says, Of the increase of his government and his peace there shall be no end. That's the Jesus that I'm celebrating for Christmas. Thank you for being here today, and we're going to share together in breakfast. You all know the, those of you that are familiar here, you know the, the way we do it. Just go on through and help yourself. And I, I don't know if I'll get back up here, but I just want to simply say thank you to this team. You've, you're a wonderful group. I look back over the year and the hard work, the sweat that you've put into making this, making this possible. And I, I know thank you is, is very trite, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And I know Justin and Joel and Carl feel the same way. Just thank you for your dedication, for coming to work, putting up with upset customers at times and whatever all else, maybe some cranky coworkers, I don't know, but whatever else goes with it and then all the other stuff. But thank you for being here. Thank you for the hard work. And I'm also thankful for the safety that we've enjoyed. We sat through a, a safety meeting yesterday and I thank God for the safety. We have a lot of trucks. There's a lot of equipment. There's a lot of moving parts. And God has been so good. So I thank Him for that. Let's have a word of prayer and then we're going to go ahead and enjoy breakfast. Heavenly Father, thank You for this beautiful morning. Thank You, Father, for this group of people here today. Thank You how You have been so gracious. You've been so good. You have blessed. And Father, we humbly say thank You. Thank you most of all for Jesus. As we reflect here at Christmas time, his coming as a baby, he didn't come just as a baby in a manger, but he came, Lord, to be our Savior. And we thank you for that gift of salvation. Father, thank you for the food that's provided. I pray that you would bless it, bless our families as well, Lord. We thank you for each one of them. And God, we praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I got I to gotta remember that. <laughs> <laughs> So that was my brother-in-law. Uh, he's kind of filling in for my dad. My dad and mom are not able to make it today. So he gave the speech and now we're eating. So guys are lined up. Then we got, uh, you'll get to hear a little bit from my brother. So that was my brother-in-law. You get to hear from my brother. And then some of the managers. So see if I can get a couple of these guys on. Good morning, everyone. I know, sometimes I, I come here and uh, we say to the, the owners always talk, like, is it worth it? Should we do this every year? And I think you guys enjoy it, but we enjoy it probably more than you do because this is our time to meet you and say hi again. Some of you drivers, I think I see the only time I see you guys is at the Christmas breakfast. So it's good for us to be here as well. So we enjoy it, love, love this time. 
Can't believe it, 2024, who would have thought, right? So soon. I was just thinking over what to say, but I think the biggest word I have is thankfulness. I look at Flint Creek's drivers. That's almost 2 million miles, Jim, is that right? 2 million miles. And then all the sales guys in their little pickups. I don't think that's added in there yet. Um, and then all our personal travel. Amazing. You know, travel is crazy, but that's a lot of miles. Since Nig's side, I was looking, we almost did um, 21,000 tickets, invoices. Think about the amount of interaction with people. It's, that's huge. I mean, that's a lot of time spent, a lot of conversing. Sometimes those people you have to talk to five or six times until you get that ticket done. And 20, you take that times 21,000, that's a huge number. Um, so this morning, I just want to share a couple happy customers comments that they did on uh, Google. This is 2023 only. I think so, anyways. Uh, there might be one, 22 there, I see. But the last two years or so of reviews, and these reviews are huge. I look at every one of them. They come up on my phone. So try to get good reviews. I think Flint Creek would even have some reviews that I didn't get to share this morning, but uh, Google reviews are huge. So if you guys can get them. Um, this Chelsea here says, thank you, Sensex Landscape Supply, for picking me as a winner of the amazing fire pit. If you haven't visited the Geneva location yet, stop in there, see their beautiful new display room. You can go next. Here's Ted Collins, one of our big contractors. Thank you, Sensex Landscape Supply, for posting this gorgeous drone video. Always a pleasure to work with you in collaboration with your team. Um, again, it's just someone that's thankful. There's another one, someone that was very happy with their two Adirondack chairs. These are Google reviews, and other customers get to see these. So it's a positive thing. Uh, that's before, and then they, do they have the picture of the chairs? <laughs> Maybe not on that one. So anyways, go next. Um, such things is hands down the place for finding that perfect stone slabs granite around. The staff have all full knowledge of the products. The outside yards are spotless today. Kudos to the yard crew for the truly awesome job, not a small stone. So there you go, yard guys. You think you, your cleanup is not worth something? Someone actually took time to put it on social media. Corey Dexter. Where are you, Corey? <laughs> You are the man. You have made our visits from our company very professional. Your knowledge, hospitality, and suggestions have made our business strive as much as we have put you on to. <laughs> Thank you for your help. It's been more appreciated. Another one, great customer service, timely and much, la much less. Great all around experience. Is there one more, Nate? Okay. Here's a landscaper that's commenting positively again. You can go next. And another one. Uh, any of you guys can pull up Google reviews, and, and that's another thing. Ask for Google reviews. It's not a thing. I, I go to businesses, and I just bought a truck, and one of the I, work in, I was working him on price, and he said, give me a good Google review, and I'll give you this price. I said, done. We'll do it. So if someone's working your price, say, go to Google. Give me a, it's, it's not a bad thing to ask for that. Uh, I like when people give them. So yeah, we have a lot of happy customers. Keep, keep watching those Google reviews. My dad has a word for us. I, I was talking to my dad. I said, Dad, do you have anything to share with the group? He's down with mom in York, Pennsylvania. She had two stents put in yesterday. She's a type three di diabetic. So it's a very sketchy uh, surgery that they had. And uh, they went up through her groin and put up two stents in and uh, got her blockage. Her heart was only working a small amount. So he had a few words here, and I'll just read it. We saw a miracle today, went on video, two of my wife's main arteries 100% closed, and after the laser treatment, st st stents were replaced with heart flowing 100%. If God can do that to a human body, he also can touch every broken heart, every suffering heart, May God give all of you peace and joy by touching you with his power and grace. So that's from Carl uh, to all of you. 
wishing you all a happy Christmas. One, one more thing I'd like to touch on. Yesterday, I come up, we came up, and I was, sometimes we come up in these short trips, and what do we spend our time with? Often we spend some time with Josh and Joey and go over some meeting, uh, numbers. But yesterday, we sat uh, two or three hours in a safety meeting. And safety is something that is going to probably take a new look this year for the two companies. We're going to put a lot of time into safety. Uh, Jim is going to be heading it up. And uh, we also have some outside people coming in and going to help us with safety. Why safety? Um, spent a lot of time on this, but basically we love you guys. We want you to leave with your fingers. We want you to be alive, most, first of all. We want you to be healthy and have an enjoyable workplace. Sometimes these safety rules feel stupid. They feel crazy, but... If you as owners know that we care about you, we want you to be safe. We want you to go home to your families in the evening and uh, yeah, just have a good time here. So safety is a new thing that from owners, we really care about. We're actually spending a bunch of money on it this year in 2024. And uh, it's gonna be the new, our new DNA is safety first. Watch out for that, Jim's gonna be bringing up some more things. The managers were on a meeting yesterday. We talked about safety a lot. One other highlight this year was Henry's retirement. We're glad to be here. Um, if you want to put up that picture, Nate, of Henry, we were all, some of you got to be with Henry's retirement. So let's give Henry a hand. This is his last Christmas breakfast. That's 14 years, I think, Henry, right? Yeah. So <laughs> he's always welcome back, is what we say. So I'm glad he could be here this morning with us. And lastly, I just want to thank each of you guys for what you do for us. Uh, I started off with thankfulness. I want to end with thankfulness. It's a thankful season. Um, just can't thank the Lord enough for what he's done for us in bringing all of you guys together as a team and making everything happen. Making happy customers, happy relationships here with each other. Um, we're very thankful today with what what all has happened. So I'm going to turn it over to Justin. You guys, what a year. You know, this past year, it was, we did have a few challenging times. At Flint Creek, we lost one of our biggest customers. And it was probably one of the most favorite customer for some of you guys, Seneca Foods. So they moved their business out of state. We had, Con we, Conrad's still here, but Conrad was out for quite a few uh, weeks with congestive heart failure. Sense things had a very competitive year. We had to watch our inventory. Product was all of a sudden readily available and, uh, we had, and it drove our margins down. But each time, each incident, you guys stood up and, and adapted and made a change. Look around you. Each one of you guys are winners. You're caring, you're compassionate. Somebody on this team had a child that was in the hospital and there was quite a few that gave your vacation for the fella so he could take extra time off. That's amazing. I, I love that. That's caring and compassionate coworkers. So thank you for being that, being those people, being those, that's awesome. Thank you for being caring and compassionate. Each one of you has filled your role. You stepped up and you stayed dedicated to keep fighting, and we ended the year strong on both companies. I can't thank you enough for the hard work and the passion that you put into this, into this company. And it's truly an honor to work together with each one of you guys. You might be looking at these gifts, thinking there's a good gift, or trying to pick out the best gift. Sometimes we think money, gifts, things is what we need, but don't forget the best things in life are free. Giving gifts reminds us of the wonderful gift that God has given us. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's a wonderful promise. So as you go through this holiday season, don't forget the true meaning of Christmas. This is a story about the right family. The right family 
had just left the city and moved to the country. The Wright family had four little rights. And all the rights were excited to move into the country. The house the Wrights were moving to needed a new patio and mulch. Mr. Wright decided to look online to find the best outdoor living store. Mr. Wright made the right choice and chose Sensenegs Landscape Supply. The Wright family decided to go pick materials for their landscape project. Just as the Wright family was turning into Sensenegs, four Flint Creek semi-trucks came out the driveway and turned left. Look at those big beautiful trucks, exclaimed the Wright children. The Wright family turned left into the parking lot and parked on the left side of the building beside the loader that someone left running. The Wright family was quickly able to select the right pavers, the right grill, the right countertop, and the right mulch. Oh boy, exclaimed Mr. Wright. We should have left before Mrs. Wright saw all the displays. There won't be much left in my wallet. Now all that's left to do is to set up the deliveries, exclaimed the salesman. Mr. Wright looked a bit worried. The Wright house is hard to find, explained Mr. Wright. Oh, we will make sure we get to the Wright house, exclaimed the salesman. Well, said Mr. Wright, go out the driveway and turn left. Go two miles and turn left. Then at the crossroads, turn left again. We are the second house on the left and the mailbox is to the left of the driveway. We want all the materials left in the driveway on the left side of the basketball hoop. We are excited and ready for the material, exclaimed Mr. Wright. Please bring the mulch first, said Mrs. Wright. We need to do some shopping first, but we will be ready by three today. At 3 p.m., the Flint Creek truck was right on time. Wow, exclaimed the Wright family. They have the best products, best service, and most of all, the best people. We are grateful to have picked the right company. Keep the rest. Keep Got your gift. You got a juicer! <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. We're wrapping up, cleaning up. Everyone got a gift. We actually have some gifts left over. It was a good time. It was definitely a good time. So, and I actually got, I don't eat a lot of sweets, but they gave me a Kenworth cookie. Trust me, I'm having one today. <laughs> so guys again remember the reason for the season the reason we give gifts is to remind our people of Jesus and what he's done for us so what a gift that we have don't forget that this holiday season thank you guys for watching hopefully this video wasn't too long but uh Stay tuned. We've got lots of good stuff coming up. Peace out.